New South Korean supersonic fighter jet coming soon. Have you ever been to South Korea? If yes, you will agree with me that it is one of the smallest countries towards the southern part of the Korean peninsula. Surprisingly, South Korea has been working on several technological inventions. This includes the South Korean supersonic fighter jets. The South Korean military is ranked 6th in the world, known for its outstanding advancements in modern technology. Now, how does the South Korean supersonic jet looks like? And were there other forms of jets before this new insane supersonic jet? Join me today in this video as we discuss more about the South Korean supersonic fighter jet that is coming soon. Where did it all start? Well, we all know China as a country with more technological advancements. The fact that China is competing with South Korea in the manufacture of many things. South Korea felt it was their time to protect themselves. This is why they came up with the idea of the fifth generation jet fighter. And that is, the Kai. It started as a collaboration between Samsung and Hyundai spacecraft companies. These companies are responsible for the manufacture of most aircraft in South Korea. In 2001, South Korea launched its first jet fighter, the KF, before the US could launch its jet. And that was the F-22. The KF-X fighter was to replace the FD-E Phantom II and the F-5E-F Tiger II jet. The Kai fashion looks like a more ambitious program as compared to the others that existed before it. The KFX jet has a single seat and two engines. It has more advanced stealth capabilities. It was manufactured in large numbers due to its low cost of operation and maintenance. The main aim behind KFX was to come up with a better fashion in terms of performance as compared to the fourth generation. However, its performance could not surpass that of the F-35 that they had launched earlier. The KF-X jet was accepted in 2018 by the Korean Air Force. The KF-X jet is 55.5 meters long. It is fitted with two engines. They are controlled with a full authority digital engine with a digital computer. The two engines enable it to reach a maximum speed of 1381 mph. They can also carry a weight of 17,000 pounds. At the start of this manufacturing, South Korea had 63% of the required technology. For this reason, the Koreans had to seek for partnerships that could help them acquire the required technology. The missing technology included a tracking system and active electronically scanned ray among many others. The mission was completed and the jet came out successfully. Having succeeded in obtaining the required technology, mass production of the KF-X prototypes is expected in 2026. This version will be fitted with air-to-ground weapons and air-to-air -air weapons. The KF-X will have to point each carrying different weapons instead of carrying the weapons in the internal bay. It is designed in a way it can be used in air superiority and ground strike machines. Composition of the AM-120, AMR, AAM, and MBDA Meteor missile makes it to be superior to the fourth generation jets. The presence of the Taurus KEPD-350 missile makes it to fly at supersonic speeds. The possession of these unique features by the KF-X makes it to stand out among other existing jets. This project is expected to cost $7.4 billion. It will be the most expensive project ever in the South Korean history. The initial prototype of this jet was seen taking shape in 2020 September. Since South Korea is so committed in achieving this mission, we are still hoping for the best as it works hard to outdo all its competitors. The new South Korean supersonic jet fighter. Apart from the jet we had discussed earlier, South Korea has a new supersonic jet known as the KF-21. Early this month, the jet took its first flight test. This gave South Korea a chance to be among the few nations that have developed a flown, a supersonic fighter jet. Korea Aerospace Industries has six fleets of KF-21 prototypes. The one that took its first flight is the first one among a fleet of six KF-21s. They are expected to take more than 2,000 test flights up to 2026. This is when the mass production of this version will begin. The aerospace industry is expected to deliver 120 jets by 2030 to the Korean Air Force. The KF-21 is expected to be fitted with air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. It will have two engines and it will come in two versions that is in a single-seated version and a two-seated version. During the flight test, the jet was filled with a meteor air-to-air -air missile and it had a track system. Its speed ranged to 400 kilometers per hour. 
The KF-21 is a result of a collaboration between South Korea and Indonesia. However, Seoul holds 80% of the shares. 65% of the parts making up the KF-21 are from South Korea, and this is a great achievement for Koreans since their knowledge of jet manufacturing has not been long term. Unlike other countries like Japan, France, and United States who have developed and flown supersonic jets before Korea, However, China and United States are the only countries that have succeeded in bringing on board the fifth generation fighter jets. The China and United States fighter jet planes are equipped unique features. This includes a radar jamming and remote data that give pilots a clear indication of what is happening during their operation times. Lack of any internal weapon bay in the KF-21 makes it to be classified as a 4.5 generation by DAPA. But still, it is able to fly high and faster as compared to F-35 that is a product of US 5th generation. Being that the KF-21 is made out of domestic knowledge, gives South Korea credit that they can do better in building more advanced supersonic fighter jets. The success of the Korean industry in designing and manufacturing of the KF-21 is a clear indication of its capability to do better in the field of aircraft manufacturing. This new supersonic jet is here to replace the F-4 and F-5 of South Korea. Unbelievably, they might replace the USA's third-generation fighter jets. If its level of production increases, they will replace South Korea's F-15s and F-15KS. The defensive capability of the South Korea in the air will improve the KF-21 operation. The KF-21 are good at air defense operations, while the F-35S is good at strike operations. This is because the F-35S have stealth capabilities as compared to the KF-21. The F-35S is good at attacking ground targets, while the KF-21 is specialized in accomplishing air-to-air -air missions. The amount of money spent by South Korea on this fighter jet is a large amount. And this has broken history in the world since Russia and US, who are giants in the field, have not even spent the same. The creation process of the KF-21 has not been an easy task for the South Koreans. The South Koreans had 65% of the required technology to manufacture the KF-21, a reason as to why they went ahead to look for partnerships for it to succeed. Their idea was well received by the Indonesia, which worked closely with South Korea to bring a unique KF-21. Thanks to Indonesia to have agreed to partner with South Korea, they have given us a new picture about how strong South Korea can be. Advantages of the new supersonic fighter jet the new supersonic fighter jet has many unique features as compared to the ones that have existed before it. From missile composition to how high it can fly and most amazing feature is the price. Is it really affordable? The KF-21 is expected to be cheaper as compared to the F-35S. The F-35S is the one that is commonly sold to the foreign militaries by the US. The Philippines and Iraq countries are the one that will be the number one. Even if this country operates their own aircraft, they will still have a higher demand for the KF-21. This is clear because they have always remained to be the royal customers of South Korea for a long period. They have been in demand of the F-A-50 light jet. This means that they will still be the customers because this new KF-21 is cheap and unique. It will be thriving well in the market for a long time as they plan on coming up with a new advanced mode of a supersonic jet. The KF-21 will carry a weight of 7,700 kilograms, thus being a threat to its enemies. South Korea's new supersonic jet will revolutionize the aerospace industry. It will not only attract more powerful countries to be their customers, but as well KF-21 is cheaper compared to other versions of fighter jets existing across the globe. With the new supersonic fighter jet, South Koreans are safe from their enemies. Thank you for watching this video and as well, Hit the notification bell to get more about the South Korean supersonic fighter jet.